Hello miners, Ruth coming at you. Got another Tucson video coming at you. I have uh, got a bunch of these. We should be looking about the third one here in consecutive order. And this particular one is a nice one. This is the Tucson TS-296. And I've been buying Tucson's long enough. I know I was with them before they were putting the model numbers on here. Uh, this is a Raihe design. And it's a pretty nice knife. These knives, uh, his knives in this lineup are very thick with titanium. Give me a second. I think I got a little bit of something in there. That's what happens when you take a titanium knife out into the woods. So anyways, let's talk about these. We like to start out with the blade. I definitely see some Raihe design language. And we'll show that to you. We have a nice hollow grind right there. We got the flat compound grind out on the end. Boy, look at the transitions in those. Got that top wedge. We got the flat. And then we got another wedge on here. Almost like a, I don't know if they call, if there's things, such a thing as a reverse wedge. But beautiful. Beautiful blade grinds, in my opinion. Excellent edge, these things. Like all my two sons, I won't say all, but I will say 90% of them come better than I can sharpen. And you can just tell uh, this one's sharp, which is nice because it's got that recurve and it's a tanto, so that's gonna be a little hard to, uh, to sharpen. Okay, uh, let's tell you, when we take a look at even blade grinds, if you look at how those right here, this wedge coming along, it comes out at the same spot, comes down, even the tip on this looks great. So. That's a beautiful, beautiful blade. And over here, look at the size of this titanium. Oh my God, it's not milled out on the inside. And look at all the milling. We got a little lap going around here. We got some, just some micro milling in here. Smooth here, that's another Raihe thing. It uses different textures. We got this thicker part. T8 hardware, lanyard, and a custom, I'll call them, you know, this is a milled clip. We got that little level change, if you will. And again, we're looking at more milling. We got the lock bar and a backspacer. So we should have, let's see here, should have over travel, travel stops on that. And this one is a flipper only, and it flips out nicely. See if we can see, yep, yeah, the detent. Got a nice lock bar you can see in there. Um, the, that's the metal plate where that screw comes through. Holds a piece of steel up in there for locking. Great ergos, for, as far as I'm concerned. Fits my hand very well. It's a thicker, heavier, beefier knife with a blade that will scratch if you look at it mean. I've said that before. For Tucson, well, 14C28N can be a scratchy blade, Tucson's is. However, they do a fantastic job uh, with the heat treat. So uh, you can expect good things from that blade steel. Okay, so this one's a 296, and I do have more Raihe knives, and I'd like to show them to you. This was one of the first ones I bought, two sons I got, and this is the 293. Wonder if I got the box here. Yeah, 293. Right, two son didn't put that on there, I did. Uh, guess what? Also a Raihe design. We got a curve, we got a flat, we got a top wedge, we got a flat here. This is this is a flat grind, this is a blade stock flat. Uh, we got milling, lock bar travel, 
Uh, we got a steel plate in there. We got more milling. We got a lanyard hole and a backspacer. Just not, it's a milled clip. It doesn't have that level change. And then we got three different, well, he's here. One, two, three styles of milling and another little racetrack thing. So if you guys can see the design language, what I'm talking about here, got to get this one so it's kind of cranked like in such a fashion. All right, so we have internal, we got this, which is similar to that piece going around, which I showed you the different millings. It's micro out here, it seems to be flat. We got all that going on. And then we got the back spacers, which aren't full, full length. Uh, flipper, you can obviously see the blade. Uh, so this Tucson I've had for a couple years. And I think they did a great job on this blade. Uh, take a look at the flipper, a little bit uh, different than what you're going to find on a lot of those. And lastly, what do we have? 293, 296. And this is... The 298, also Raihi design, also, uh, what do we got? What are you calling this? Um, oops. Give me a second here. I turned something on my, my phone. I touched my camera lid. Uh, so anyways, uh, this particular one, and I can't get it to focus. Give me a second. Let me just stop this and come back. Yeah, I don't know what I did there, guys. Something funky, touched the screen, a timer counted and started a countdown. So we're losing light here, but we're taking a peek at the blade grind. We got the flat, we got the top swedge, Tucson, that's their pivot collars. We have another milled clip, another backspacer here. A lock bar and good ergos on this. I can tell you on the 293, I did carry that for a while and I did enjoy that one. So, uh, what do we got for milling? Look at different milling here, different milling there. We don't have any racetrack kind of a thing. Uh, oh, well, instead, we got a little. So I don't know what he's doing there. And then a pretty interesting, oh, my dog just ran by me. Pretty interesting uh, lanyard hole. And there's a milled clip with a level change, if you want to call it that. Oh, excellent. These, uh, I can tell you this much. The drop on this thing after a while yeah i remember having to <laughs> what you gotta do is you gotta keep your finger off that so if you go like so oops i cut myself okay hit the hit your thumb Let's try that again yeah if you keep your finger off of this here it's dialed in it is fantastic fantastic no, you don't have to pay hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for great blade grinds, great heat treats, and great action. So you can get it all from Tucson. So, anyway, these are some Raihis. They're not, he's got the 409 or is it the 419? Anyway, he's got a popular one out there. And, um, He's going to be cranking along. Thank you, Tang Lee. Thank you, uh, Rusty Miners, or thank you, Miners. And thanks for tuning in.